Hi, what's going on? My name is Anant and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can showcase all your products right inside WhatsApp. Now your customers can explore all your categories, all your products, explore their pictures, their pricing, their description, everything inside WhatsApp and in fact, make a checkout directly inside WhatsApp. And while they do all of it, you as a business owner can track their entire journey. So for example, if they went to the shoes category and then they were exploring one of the product inside that category, you can actually see their journey inside their live chat dashboard. And then your sales team can follow up with them with more such product or you can build further automation that can follow up with them with further uh, you know products in that category now this is a game changer if you have an e-commerce store whether you already have an online store like a Shopify website or a WooCommerce you can quickly import all your products inside WhatChimp and you can showcase all of them inside WhatsApp itself now the customer will now you will build trust with your customer because they have someone who can guide them throughout the journey while they're exploring the products. So even if, you know, while they were exploring the catalog and they drop off somewhere, you can always have your team members who can, you know, jump in and follow up with them. And you know the best part? When customers are exploring your products inside Shopify and WooCommerce, they, you cannot see their number. But when they come to your WhatsApp and ask for a catalog, you have their number. And when you're tracking their journey, you know who is the best customer to follow up with or who is the best lead to follow up with. So let me first show you this thing in action. Let's say you have a Shopify, WooCommerce or any sort of uh, e-commerce store. Even if you don't have an online store, that's absolutely fine. Uh, all you have to do is take your customers to your WhatsApp number with a pre-filled message. So the pre-filled message could be something like, I want to see the product catalog. Now you can change it as, as you want, but for now I'm going to use something called as, I want to see the product catalog. If you have services, you can say something like, I want to know more about your services, right? So the moment your customers send you this message, you can immediately send them a catalog like this, right? So here we are giving them options that, hey, what exactly are you looking for? Are you looking for shoes? t-shirts or sunglasses. Now, when I click on shoes, we can further dissect it by asking whether you're looking for men or women. It helps you track the exact journey and what exactly are they looking for so that you can recommend them similar products in the future. So now when somebody clicks on shoes, the WatchM CRM will also tag them by the category shoes that this customer came to explore about shoes. In future, if you're doing broadcasting or something like that, you have that tag so that you can easily segment all those customers who ever showed an interest in shoes. So I'm going to click on shoes and let's see what we get. So the moment we click on shoes, we are getting a catalog. Now, this is a catalog. And inside of this catalog, I have added only one product. As you can see over here, it says one item, right? So all I have to do is click on the item and it's going to show me all the products which we have over here. Since I have added only a single product, I'm able to see the single product over here, which is nothing but WhatChimp basic subscription, which starts at $12 per month. So you can sell additional products, service, physical product, whatever you want. You can showcase anything that you want inside the product catalog. Now, when I click over here, I can learn more about the pro product. I can have multiple pictures about this product so that customer can learn more about this. I can have a header, the pricing, the description, and lots and lots of other thing about this, right? So here the customer can learn about the business, can see the checkout link, everything, right? Now, if I want to add this to my order request, I can click over here. Or if I want to inquire more about this product, hey, I'm, I want to learn more, right? Learn more about this. So you know specifically which product the customer is referring to. And then your team can go ahead and take over that conversation and respond to that customer's query. How cool is this, right? 
and whether you have a Shopify, WooCommerce or you don't have any online store at all, you can import your product with one click. Let's say you have a spreadsheet with all your products in that spreadsheet, you can import that spreadsheet. If you have Shopify or WooCommerce, you can connect that with Meta and quickly import all the products from Shopify or WooCommerce with a single click. There are even more uh, you know, e-commerce platform that Meta supports, which is BigCommerce, Magento, and a plenty of other platforms, which I'm going to show you in the video uh, later today. Okay, so this is all about the experience that the customer is going to get. Now, let me take you to the dashboard. So the dashboard, when you click on the e-commerce catalog, you can see all those customers who've tried making an order, right? So you can see uh, all the customers who've tried purchasing the product that you had. Now, here you can manage all the manual payments someone has made. And here you can manage all your catalogs. So the catalogs that we were looking at is this one, right? Now with this catalog, let me just show you all the products. You can see there are two products that we have added inside the catalog. If you want to add more product, you can absolutely do that which I'm going to show you in the video later, um, you know, in the, in the later part of the video series. Now, if you want to send a message, like what is the checkout link? What should be the message after uh, checkout success, order status update, cart reminder, or new order email, you can absolutely customize this from here. If you want to also uh, accept payment, you have multiple options. So you can click on payment settings, and here you're getting options to uh, accept payments using PayPal, Stripe, Umoney, Razorpay, Paystack, Molly, PayMaya, uh, Instamojo, uh, Zendit. There are plenty of, you can see, PhonePay, PayFast, right? So you have plenty of option to accept the payment from your customer. Now, one thing that I want to highlight for especially the customers in especially the businesses in Singapore and India, uh, uh, WhatsApp allows you to also accept payment through WhatsApp Pay so that your customers can pay through UPI. But this feature is only available through Razor Pay or PayU integration. If you have any of these integrations, you can uh, accept payments using Payment UPI. But again, it, it is only available for Indian and Singapore customers. Uh, Singapore businesses rest for rest of them you have all these options over here if you want to accept the payment inside WhatsApp all right so that is all about the uh, you know e-commerce I also want to show you a couple of other things which is Google's sheet list which means anytime somebody makes a purchase all the detail about that customer and the product they have purchased you can send that directly to your Google spreadsheet so let's say if your team in, team is managing that, they have you know uh, the responsibility to ship the product as soon as we get a new order, they can track everything from Google Sheet, right? So somebody makes a purchase, you can see that in your Google Sheet, uh, fetch all the information, all the customer information, and you know ship it to that given address. Then you have the cart settings where you can set the tax percentage, your shipping charges, your invoice ID and plenty of other things, right? And then on the top, you get an option to track all the customers who have tried purchasing a product. You can always change the status. So as you change the status, they are going to get the respective message about that. You have more actions that you can perform where, where you can see what product they tried purchasing and you can also see the cart over here, right? So that's it about the e-commerce catalog. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own e-commerce catalog and then connect it with Watchim. You, whether you have a Shopify, WooCommerce or don't have any physical uh, you know, online store at all, I'm going to show you how you can add all your products inside Watchim. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.